these are the faces we sometimes take for granted. 43-year-old Yao Qu is a railway worker. He's been delivering medical supplies to hospitals since the Chinese New Year, and he's been doing it voluntarily. I am a veteran and also a party member. When a country is in difficulty, we must step forward to overcome the hardship. Yao's friends have put together a fleet of 20 trucks. They keep in close contact to ensure hospitals are getting the urgent supplies they need. We do lack vehicles to carry supplies. We are touched, really touched, that someone volunteered to do so much for us. Just days ago, Yao posted a message on social media with other volunteers. He said if anything happened to him, he hoped his family could be taken care of. His wife said she supports his effort with all her heart. What my husband is doing makes me cry. I think it's very meaningful. We cannot do everything, but we can deliver as many supplies as we can. We hope to help the medical workers out there as much as we can. Meanwhile, the Army's transportation support team is responsible for supplying hundreds of different locations in Wuhan. But despite driving close to his own house nearly every day, Wang Chunshan has no time to make a stop. That's my neighborhood. I really miss home, but a look at it will do for now. Busy transferring hundreds of protection suits, sometimes Wang doesn't even have time for a meal. He was able to catch up with his wife once when she was on the front line distributing necessities. <laughs> The couple can only talk for a matter of minutes before one has to move on again. Hundreds of miles to cover, thousands of tons of supplies to deliver. They say they'll keep going until it's all over. Wang Xiao, CGTN.